How to beat a lobber in tennis. A lobber in tennis is someone who, every time you come to the net, they consistently try to hit it over your head with a lob. Or, when you're at the baseline, you'll hit a hard shot, and the only way they can defend against that hard shot is to send up a lob. How do you beat that? Well, if you're at the baseline and you hit a hard shot and they just lob it back hoping to restart the point, you can come in and take the ball out of the air with what I call a swinging volley. Don't let that lob bounce because you're going to just have to restart the point back up and restart that point. Come in as the ball is dropping, catch it at about eye level to chest level and take a swinging volley out of the air and put it away. The other thing is that if you come up on an approach shot, a lobber will always choose the lob over your head. So know thy opponent, okay? Don't come in too far. Stay somewhat near the service line expecting the lob, which you'll probably get, and execute an overhead smash. Put the ball away. So the key to beating a lobber is to not let that lob take effect, okay? So you're gonna take it out of the air from the baseline, you're going to come up to the net and hit an overhead smash. What do you think, Kirk? I like it, and sometimes you play somebody who's going to just try, even when you're on the baseline, to lob it back and lob it back. With that player, every once in a while, you will back up a little bit, and you have to feel a little proficient at sending a good lob. But this is the one time you could probably hit a good lob, let's say, to his backhand, maybe even with a little topspin, and that height gives you time to come in. And like Joe said, don't come too close to the net. Stop around the service line, chances are a lob is coming and he's not going to beat you with a, a lob if you're only on the service line when he hits it. That's right and uh, I have gone to a lot of junior tournaments and at the young age the lob is a very effective shot because the players don't have enough power to come in and take it out of the air often because they're young and the ball tends to bounce over their heads a lot. So uh, I am teaching my younger students as they get older, maybe 13 or 14, to try to take that swinging volley and try to work on their overhead smash. So how to beat a lobber, take it out of the air, get up to the service line and hit some overhead smashes. Mm -hmm.